Hey there internet, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game. And we are continuing our look at the benefits of board games. Now, if you did join us last time, you'll know that we talked a lot about how board games help with teaching as a whole, and then went on to talk specifically about counting. So today, what I want to look at is, with regards to that teaching, reading. You might say, not all games involve reading. Well, not all games will in the gameplay itself, but there'll still be reading they could do with regards to the box, even with regards to the name of the game on the box. And of course, there's always the rules in the box will give them an opportunity to practice their reading. Now, when I'm talking about this, obviously there is a bit of a focus on young children and their learning to read. However, that isn't the sole aspect that board games can help with reading. They can help everyone, even you and me, because we don't know every word out there and as we play more board games we will play more complicated board games that will have more text on cards on pieces on rules on boards on everything and you may encounter new words or words used in a new way and that will again help improve your own reading and of course it will help you stay reading and be used to reading so now let's talk a bit about specific examples of games helping with reading. And I'm going to pull a bit from my own childhood here and use the game that I feel probably helped me the most with reading. And that game is unfortunately, yes, Monopoly. Now, I say unfortunately because it's very much within the boards game industry regarded as not a very good game. However, I still have a copy because I grew up playing Monopoly and I'm sure many of you out there did and so it still has a warm place in my heart. I'm unlikely to choose to play it, <laughs> but I still want to have it. I want that nostalgia. I want to be able to, when I have children, show them Monopoly because, as I say, I grew up playing this and therefore I grew up reading what was on the board, on the cards, on the box and this game is filled with things to read. As I say, you just look at the board and you've got, of course, writing on the spaces of where you're moving to. You've got writing on the properties. And of course, there's the chance cards and the community chest. So all the time you were drawing these and you were reading them. And okay, when I was very, very, very young, I might struggle with these and it might be right, draw a chance card and it'll be like, a j -j and my mum and dad would be able to help me with that and therefore I would learn what they said and learn to read by using them. So for me that was a very big impact as a child learning to read that I didn't even know was happening and of course that is the beauty of board games. Next let's talk about an example that will help with reading and learning words and just thinking about how to combine letters to make words. And this would probably be for slightly older children than you would potentially introduce Monopoly to. And it's not a game that I am a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of word games. But of course, the game I'm talking about here is Scrabble. Now, this is a fantastic game for helping children to learn words because you're giving them just random letters and asking them to identify words out of them. And of course, they're also seeing words that you make and you can have a dictionary there to help them and to check. And it's, but it's made part of a game. So there is that as a kind of a next step that focuses specifically on reading and words. But I don't personally find it especially fun. And maybe part of that is because I'm not as good at creating those long high point words or the small t point words and just playing it as a game as much is not as fun. But what do you want to do then if you know, you've know you moved on from using just any board game like Monopoly that features words and you want to actually have a word game to help with teaching, reading, etc. But you don't wanna use Scrabble. Well, the one I would recommend is Bananagrams here. Now, Bananagrams is very similar to Scrabble. You have these 
tiles, much like with Scrabble, but you don't have a board. Each person is making their own grid and it's just a case of trying to make words as quickly as possible. You're, there's no, oh, I need to make the longest words or the best words or just the highest scoring words. There's just be able to make words and it makes it a much quicker, much more fun version of Scrabble. So that's kind of everything I wanted to talk about with reading. Uh, please do join us next time where we will continue our look at the benefits of board games. And of course, if you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on the channel. And of course, share the channel with your friends and family. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.